Good afternoon, seventh graders and your families. Um, Ms. Stevenson is back again with another lesson plan overview. So this lesson plan is for week 13. Um, for week 13, it's a full week five days <laughs> so it's a full week um, it starts Monday November 16th and then it ends Friday November 20th so we've got a full week for week 13 um, so for seventh grade we are pretty much going to be continuing what we've been working on so we're going to be working on the essay outline for their short story unit which is the culminating assessment for the short story so we're just going to be working on that no vocab this week um, they probably won't have vocab until December because week 14 is Thanksgiving. So they only go to school Monday and Tuesday. So probably won't have vocab until that week after Thanksgiving. But the vocab will be available. I always make it available. As soon as the last unit's done, the next unit's uploaded. So if they want to work on unit five, they can. But for this week's lesson plan, um, students are going to be writing their essay outline. So I'm gonna, we're gonna be finishing it up actually. It has six steps and this week they're gonna do steps five and six. Last week they finished steps one, two, three, and four. And five and five is the longest, so I'm giving them some time and six is pretty easy. So um, on Monday and Tuesday for their first block, um, we'll review the lesson plan. We'll go over last week. We'll do a life update. I'm gonna do some warm ups with the students this week to get them moving around a little bit. So we'll see, hopefully that works out. Um, and then we're gonna review their homework from last week, which was steps three and four of the outline. They did do the introduction and they had to outline the body paragraphs. So we're doing like paragraph structure, like how everything should go, like what goes first, what goes next, um, how do you cite a quote, how do you put a quote in, in your paragraph, stuff like that. Then we'll go over um, step five, which is body paragraph writing. So I have like a checklist and they'll be writing out their body paragraphs all the way. I have a little presentation about how to cite quotes, how to insert quotes into paragraphs. We'll go over that. Um, and then we'll just work on step five for that first block. And then step five will be due Wednesday night, right before their second block. And then for their second block, um, we'll go over their step five, we'll review their paragraphs. Hopefully they can read. I wanted them to switch and do like a peer review thing. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to do that, but that was like one goal that I had was to maybe do a peer review, but we'll see. Um, and then they're gonna work on step six, which is the last step, which is the conclusion paragraph. So it's pretty easy. I do have a little PowerPoint for it. So we'll go over that very briefly. Um, I do have an example essay outline as well. So if your student is struggling at all, there is a Miss Stevenson example. It's on Schoology. Um, it's posted on this lesson plan down in the comments. Nope, in the description, not the comments. It's down there. Um, and then they also have it linked to their own outline. They can click at the top. It says Miss Stevenson's example. Click. So they can click that if they need any extra help. Um, and then we'll do wellness check 13 then as well. So their homework will be step six. That'll be due Sunday night. And then right before Thanksgiving, um, we'll kind of go over the typing process. But students will not have any homework over Thanksgiving. Definitely not required. They want to work that is their prerogative but they do not need to um but yeah we'll start typing before thanksgiving and then when they come back they'll finish typing and then the essay will be done and then we'll start something new in december um and that's pretty much it so that's kind of what's going on um i do want to let you guys know help nights i have help nights every thursday at 3 p.m so students can log on it's just stevenson help night is the nickname so they can log on every thursday at 3 if they ever need help with anything usually if no one logs on i usually log off by 3 30 so as long as the students can try to log in like earlier so that i know that they need me or if they can just let me know in advance that they're coming i'll just make sure i'm available um let's see what else i also have on this lesson plan um i posted like every lesson plan ever <laughs> that we've had this year so if you guys are curious about what your student has been learning you can click that doc and you can see like all the different stuff they've been working on which is kind of fun um and their schoology calendar is totally up to date um everything on schoology has been uploaded for next week basically for the whole month of november um everything has been uploaded and i'll be working on december probably today or tomorrow but I think that's everything. Um, overall, seventh graders are doing really well. They're asking questions, making sure they get help. Um, they're kind of turning their homework in on time. I have been having issues with students 
waiting until I give them the answers in class before they turn their homework in. It's really important that students try to do the work independently, at least try to, and then they can always fix it during class, but it's important that they try to do it on their own. So definitely encourage your student to try it by themselves, you know, instead of waiting for me to do it for them. So I guess that's kind of, that's what I've learned this week anyway, is that I want them to try by themselves before they rely on me to give them, you know, the answers. There's really never a right answer. So as long as they try, I'm happy. Um, I think that is everything for now. So enjoy the rest of week number 12. Have a good weekend. And if you need me, you know how to find me. So yeah. All right. See ya. Have a good weekend.